Hey gang, quick update from last episode. So I took apart the realistic 31-1987 equalizer, did some cleaning and the switches there, put it back together, hooked it up, and it seems like it's all good to go and that it works. I did not plug it into my main system that it was plugged into before, but I did plug it into my backup receiver and yeah sounded all good so yay all right but y'all came here not for that we're not living in the past we're moving forward so kick the fucking intro ba -da -ba. he got into vintage audio a year ago but there's a lot of things he still doesn't know so he started up a channel on youtube -y, and here he is now the Vintage New Bay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode in our featured segment featuring the segment of Radio Shack gear, mostly branded realistic. We've done the STA 90 receiver, we've done the SCT 11 stereo cassette deck we've done the sct 25 compact cassette deck it's compact cassette deck it's not a cassette deck for compact cassettes they're full-sized well tonight get ready for the q800 compact eight track player it plays full-size 8-tracks, not compact ones. <laughs> Just like the thing I said a minute ago about cassettes, in case you weren't paying attention. Forgive me. It's very late at night, or very early in the morning. And this is my fourth one of these I made in a row. And I still got another left to do. Now, I did talk about this one, I don't know, maybe a year ago something like that but i figure it's worth a revisit k k did i say k i meant to say q as in the q800 four and two channel tape deck it's an eight track player i picked it up at a vintage uh thrift shop for the low low price of ten dollars um yeah it's pretty cool it plays quadraphonic eight tracks which were cassettes that had a little divot so you could recognize them as being quadraphonic and it had something to do with four channel setup speakers um, kind of a surround sound type of deal. Didn't know anything about it because I was like six months old when this thing came out. And it retailed for a hundred bucks. What? Um, I have not looked up what these are going for on eBay currently. But hold on. There are currently none of these available for sale on eBay, but having checked under the sold recently tab, uh, there were two. One sold for $15, one sold for a little under $60, and they both had about 15 bucks for shipping. So you can pick up one of these for apparently anywhere between $10 and... I don't know, about 90. So it still comes in less than it originally sold for back in like, I don't know, 75 or whatever year it came out in, which $100 back in like mid 70s money is like $5,000 now. Um, now it's like 300, I think, which is insane for one of these. This thing has very basic features. It does not have any of the buttons of a larger 8-track player, like, you know, play, fast-forward, 
sometimes record, sometimes eject. Um, it does have a program button, so you could switch between tracks one, two, three, and four. And it does have an auto stop button, so that when you push it in, it'll automatically stop it. I don't know if it'll eject it as well, because this thing you just push it in, and then you pull it out whenever you're done. <laughs> um, so there is no eject button. So I don't know if it just retracts the head or if it, I guess it probably would just retract the head and just stop it in its tracks since there is no eject function. Each of these little squares will light up depending on which track is playing, normally at least. For mine, the top right corner, which is for track three, does not illuminate. So just a little thing there. Now when I got this one, it the motor came on when you would put a tape in, but it, there was no sound. So I changed the belt and all is working well now. Um, it does play a little bit slower than the two other eight track players that I have. Now I know with cassette decks, when you take them apart, you can put a screwdriver into the back of the motor and adjust the pitch. I haven't seen if there's that ability on this, but I guess I'll open it up and check it out. And if I can, I'll put that in the comments below. So check the comments down below. Okay? Okay. All right, that is it for the Q800 8-track player from Realistic. Wow, I actually didn't ramble too much there. This video is dangerously close to being not overextended and long-winded. Bet we never thought we'd see the day, did we, folks? But here we are. We made it. So I guess we'll wrap this one up. If you haven't liked, shared, and subscribed, then turn off your phone, go outside, and lay down in the middle of the street until a big truck comes. And then get out of the way of it, okay? Good. Yeah, no pressure to do any of that stuff here. Because this is a chill channel, man. This, this is the vintage newbie. This is the vintage groovy. So, you know, just whatever. Just chill, man. Two glasses, four glasses, six eyes, eight eyes. Doesn't matter. Ah, one more to go. Have a blessed day.